is up, Trainters? Ludo here with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go, and today, well, yesterday, Regirock made his way into the legendary raids. Reggie Steel left, and we now have Regirock. So, super fun. I actually kind of like Reggie Rock the most out of all of the Reggies, besides Reggie Gigas. That's my favorite. So, yay! And, what do you know? We have a raid behind the house. So we're gonna go do that today. So much information, news, rumors, leaks. So much stuff has happened. So we're gonna go, go, and go, 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 go. So we're gonna go and do that raid. Then we're gonna come back here and talk about all of the things, cause there's a lot of things. So don't forget, turn on your lucky eggs, turn on your star pieces. This is a new registration. So, let's go get that Reggie Rock. Okay, so we are at the Reggie Rock waiting for my phone to respond and go in. There we go. So, Reggie Rock, um, my, one of my favorites besides Reggie Gagas. So, we're gonna be going in with uh, water, fighting, grass and ground. It always throws in my Mewtwo, just for fun. So that's the team I'm gonna go in with because my Mew has Solar Beam, so that should be Oh wait, no, it's not going to be boosted, but that's still a really good move to use against Reggie Rock. So, we're also going to be looking for, uh, well, uh, 1764 is perfect CP, because it's not weather boosted right now. Or wait, is it weather boosted right now? Uh, cloudy. cloudy. No, I don't it's think not. So, I think it's... so, no, because it said cloudy in the game. Is it? Okay. I think. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure that out. <laughs> but, uh, 1764 is perfect CP for non-weather boosted, and then 2205 is perfect CP for weather boosted, so. We will see. So I believe we're looking for 1764 because it's not weather boosted. I don't think. 10. 1731. 80-ish somewhere. Okay, right, I'm gonna AR this real quick. Okay. Decentish AR picks. Okay. 1731. Set up the shot. Maybe I can get my three excellent throws with this finally. Oh no. A little lower. Well, that's the one that matters. Right. Make it soft to do another one. 
One excellent throw, good. Okay, so its target is like, its target is like Reggie Steele's almost. Second excellent throw. Hopefully we can get that third and I can lock that larvitar. Yes, all right, so we unlocked our task, finally. I've been sitting on that task for quite a long time. And I will give thanks to uh, Famous FLV Videos because I totally watched his video on how to just like do it on, do it on a legendary, basically. Oh, and I just normal razz that, that was not. Okay, I guess he already has a berry of some sort, one of the two. All right, there we go. Fourth excellent throw, perfect. Okay. Oh, and I totally didn't turn on a lucky egg or stardust. Ugh. What is wrong with me? Okay, praise, amaze, defense, blow. Not the bad. Not the bad. Defense, that should make it like an 84. With rock smash and zap cannon, it has electric moves. I did not realize that. All right, well, registered to the decks, yay. Let's check that Larvitar. Be a shiny, come on. No. All right, well, we'll see you back at the house. Okay, back at the house now, and as you saw, we got it, and I appraised it, and it was a 91%. I'm, I'm satisfied with my first Reggie Rock, and to, uh, you know, kind of round off my trash cans, uh, you know, I think I have all 91%. No, I have an uh, 89 Regice can. But hey, we have our Reggie Rock, and now I am prepared for Reggie Gagas. If you don't know, in the original games, you had to actually catch all three of them, and they combined to make or create or waken or whatever uh, Reggie Gagas. Not how it's going to probably happen in this game, but I'm prepared. As I already said at the raid, so if you are going up against a Reggie Rock, you're probably going to want around five to seven trainers, five if you're all really uh, expertise at what you're doing, and then seven if it's probably just a random group. You're gonna wanna be using uh, water, fighting, grass and ground type moves and Pokemon. And if you can find a weather boost of sun for grass moves and uh, ground moves, then you should uh, take it down with ease. And then once you take it down, the CP for non-weather boosted that, again, you will be looking for is 1764. And then for weather boosted, which I think for rock would be sunny, right? No, normal. Or, or normal and rock are boosted together with partly clouded, right? I think I got it. Anyways, in that weather boost, you're gonna be looking for 2205. And those are gonna be the two perfect CPs, so, uh, 1731, almost there. Gonna uh, go out later this week and see if I can get a couple more. I'm really not gonna worry about like trying to get so many of these. So, yay, Reggie Rock in the decks, yay. Moving on to bigger and greater things, what you all clicked on the video for. Many things have happened in the Pokemon Go world and one of the most recent ones was a new update came out and an APK mine from Pokemon Go Hub themselves is already out. And they've already updated it once. And then they updated it again. So a lot of stuff. First things first, no Gen 4 information was found besides they did find in the network traffic the coding for the Sinnoh badge. So. Yay, that, I mean, we all know it's coming, but it just means we're one step closer. Super exciting, I can't wait. But that's it for uh, Gen 4 information. And uh, I think it was the day before that, uh, Pokemon Go themselves announced that all of us starting August 20th, Monday, finally get to start our research tasks, or our special mythical research tasks, for Celebi. So, uh, 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 put on your trainer boots and get on your gear and get ready because uh, new tasks are coming. Starting August 20th, you can head out yourself and start doing your tasks to earn your Celebi. How exciting, what amazing times. Now don't worry, for those of you who already have your Celebi, 
no, you're not getting a second Celebi, and people who don't have Celebi don't get butt hurt because no, they're not getting another Celebi. For people who already have their Celebi that went to GoFest, their research is, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be the same, but their research goal is going to be a bonus amount of candy. That's, that's just what it says. You, you get bonus candy. So hey, you know, you get more candy, we have to work for the extra, extra candy. Along with that, a new t-shirt is gonna be in the store for all of us to uh, decide if we want to wear, along with heart gold and soul silver avatar items. I can't wait to see what those are. Uh, that's one of the, if I remember correctly, that was one of the games, the first games that they started where they like revamped it, right? And they were like, we're gonna redo this, but make it like better. Anyway, uh, Avatar items from those series games are gonna be in the shop soon, uh, August 20th as well. So, super exciting, super fun, new items. I love new clothing, I want new hair. Niantic, we want hair. Give us more hair. Woohoo for clothes. Give us more hair options. <laughs> so, get ready because Celebi is coming. Okay, and bouncing back to the APK mine, uh, they also found that they're gonna be adding QR codes for our friends' uh, codes. So that way we can just scan each other's QR codes. They already have a QR code scanning system for the events, so it makes sense that they should be and could be able to implement that elsewhere. So that's gonna be a way easier way to uh, get friends going and instead of having to like remember the number because some people can't do the copy and paste thing and some people can't do the back out, go to the, look at the number, go back, because then it erases the number that you already wrote. So, a, uh, a, a quality of life improvement. And then badges for the Yokosuko event in Japan were added. The berry glitch was fixed, the fast catch still works, and the friends list no longer jumps around and to the top after you have opened a gift. More quality of life improvements with the friends list. Uh, you will be able to see if there has been activity for the day and you will also see if you've already sent a gift within the first screen instead of having to go to their trainer screen. It'll show a little arrow and they should be highlighted blue. Still no search bar though. And uh, something that's quite confusing, uh, we still don't necessarily know what it means, but apparently you can share your EX raid passes now. Don't know what that means, uh, sounds super exciting, so that is uh, something to look forward to for sure. And then there was some other stuff that we will talk about uh, later, but you can also, if you want yourself, go down to the description and the link for the APK mine will be down there and you can read it for yourself. But we're gonna move on to uh, the events that have been announced. So we just got done with EV Day and the next one is Chikorita. I'm super excited. Like, of course I'm super excited. But like, I'm super excited. It's Chikorita, it's one of my favorite starters from Gen 2, so, and I think its autumn colors are perfect for autumn time that we are going into right now currently. So September 22nd is Chikorita Day. And of course we all know if you evolve your uh, Chikorita into a Meganium, uh, during that time you will get a special move. So that will be, you know, later announced. So get excited. It hopefully will not be Frenzy Plant. It'll hopefully be something that is completely different because we need difference and the normal three hour lures, and uh, it's uh, three times XP this time, so get the grinding. Lucky eggs and all, because that'll be six times the XP earned. And then of course, can't get enough of Community Day? Don't worry, Pokemon Go has planned for you two more events. So they also revealed that uh, October 21st and November 10th are going to be the other Community Days. So you can kind of maybe guess what we're going to be getting for October, especially since it's a the 21st. It'll be a two-week event, I guarantee. And in there, we'll have Community Day as well. And they follow that by saying that new Pokemon will be featured. Again, they do call Shinies new. They uh, call Legendaries that are being introduced technically new, and they are new to the game. Doesn't necessarily mean 
Gen 4. But yes, with the Gen 4 badge being found previously, uh, it could hint towards that as well. Many speculations, we know nothing now. So uh, don't get your hopes up too high, but you know, you can start speculating and gathering your theories and whatnot. Again, links for all those will be down in the description, but moving on to the next event is uh, September 23rd after Chikorita Day down in San Jose, California. They are doing a 5K walk where they are just encouraging and inviting the community to come and enjoy the city streets and walk. So they're holding an event down there. You you, you can probably expect to see uh, it's funded. It's 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 part of uh, or it's sponsored or partnered with or whatever the Knight Foundation. And we know that they're partnered with Niantic as well. So you could probably expect to see some kind of spawns of, of, of rarity there. So like, I, I guarantee you, maybe there'll be unknowns that spell out San Jose or, you know, maybe Heracross will come along and do the 5K with us. It's six miles of San Jose's most iconic neighborhoods and streets, so it's bound to be beautiful and it's bound to be a good time. Plenty of KMs to get in and plenty of Pokemon to find as well. So if that fancies your interest, you can find the link down in the description for that event as well. And last but not least, I uh, think it should be included. I do feel like I have parents and children that do watch. So Niantic Kids, parents, if you uh, would like to have a little bit more security on your child's account or watch over your child's account, uh, Niantic has set up a new portal for you to be able to sign into with your children's account called Niantic Kids. With the newest update, you'll be able to sign in and you'll be able to basically kind of monitor uh, what they're doing. You can uh, make sure that uh, information isn't being shared. You can pre-approve whether they can uh, purchase things or not. So that way you can have peace of mind as a parent and knowing that your child is safe while they're out playing. So if you have a child, be sure to do that. You can, uh, again, find the link down in the description. Once the update comes out, there should be an automatic uh, login feature for that and you should be able to connect an existing uh, Pokemon Club Trainer account to that as well. And then after that, I believe it just goes through some verifications to confirm that you are a parent and blah, 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 blah. Again, you can find the link down in the description. I advise you to read it if you are a parent and interested in that. And last but not least, least, last, last, least, least. Charles, the infamous data miner we all basically adore and praise, has discovered the shiny sprite models for all of Gen 1, Gen 2, and a majority of Gen 3. What does this mean? Nothing more than that. Quite literally. It, it's just, uh, uh, it has been mentioned, it's more of a uh, smart move for Niantic because then that way we don't get to data mine every time and know what shinies are coming. If they just get them all in at right now, we don't know what's gonna come when it comes. That's more exciting. So I'm glad that they've introduced all these different shinies. Uh, it was kind of a no brainer that they would introduce all these different shinies. But again, it's just really exciting to see them being implemented into the master code, into the network traffic, whatever, we're seeing them. So it's, it's, it's a good sign that, you know, community day events are gonna continue. It's a good sign that, you know, these events in general are going to continue where they just drop a shiny all of a sudden. And with uh, Gen 4 eventually coming, if I remember correctly, they have like, they have 12 legendaries, right? So we have plenty of opportunities to continue the raid days as well. So contain your hype. It's a lot of information. There's a lot of new stuff, a lot of new leaks and discoveries. And uh, basically almost within the last three days, it's been constant of discovering new things. So it's been very exciting and, and a little stressful. Y'all know me, I'm not too good on the, the whole information bits of stuff, but you definitely deserve to know. So again, all of this stuff will be down in the description. You can go down there and click all the different little links and read the little, they're not long. You can read all the little articles yourself and get fully informed and be prepared because one, Celebi is coming in probably before I, like Celebi will be here probably the day that this is uploaded or the day before. So get ready, get hyped, get excited, contain your excitement though. 
find your chi, and then lose your mind for Gen 4. Anyways, we're gonna wrap it up there. All that information smacked into your face and you, you're just gonna get to go with that. So if you enjoyed this and got value out of it, please scroll down give me that like. Maybe consider subscribing if you're not and comment down below, what are you most excited for? I'm most excited for Piplup, just period. And if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye!